The football story presents the football legends, Marcel van Basten, known as Marco, born in Utrecht on October 31, 1964, is a former Dutch footballer, a striker, and a football coach. Nicknamed the Swan of Utrecht, Van Basten was a centre-forward with exceptional technique, remarkable elegance, and speed in his movements, despite his imposing physique. He combined the grace of an attacking midfielder with the effectiveness of a true goalscorer. Skillful with both feet, possessing a powerful and precise shot both in motion and from a standstill, effective in aerial play and acrobatics, he displayed a combination of traits that make him one of the strongest and most complete forwards of all time. He was also an excellent penalty taker. In his career, he scored 51 out of 55 penalty kicks. After some experiences in Utrecht's youth teams, in 1981, he joined Johan Cruyff's Ajax. A year later, in April 1982, he made his debut with the Dutch under-18 national team, scoring three goals. In Ajax's first team, on April 3, 1982, at the age of 17 and a half, he replaced Cruyff and scored a goal in his debut with the team. In the following two years, Van Basten went from nine goals in 20 matches in the 1982 to 83 season to 28 goals in 26 matches in the 1983 to 84 season, where he became the top scorer. The next season, Arjux again became the Netherlands champion, and Van Basten once more became the top scorer with 22 goals. In the 1985 to 86 season, with 37 goals in 26 matches, he became the top scorer for the third time, winning the Golden Boot and contributing to Arjux's success in the KNVB Cup. However, 1986 marked the beginning of his physical troubles, he contracted viral hepatitis and had to stop for three months. In December, during the Groningen Arjux match, he injured his right ankle after a clash with an opponent. He continued to play, but eventually had to undergo surgery in Switzerland. Even this time, he returned to the field three months later, in the Cup Winners' Cup final between Arjux and Lokomotiv Leipzig, 1-0, where he scored the decisive header in the 21st minute and finished the season as the top scorer. This would be his last game with Arjux. In the summer of 1987, after 133 matches and 128 goals, he transferred to Milan, which signed him based on UEFA parameters, paying 2 million Swiss francs, about 1.75 billion lire. In the Rossoneri, he immediately undid himself to the fans by scoring in the first Coppa Italia match against Barry. He also scored in the league debut in Pisa, but the first setback occurred. The other ankle began to give him problems after the UEFA Cup match against Espanyol. He underwent surgery again and remained inactive for six months. When he returned to the field, Milan was chasing the league leaders Napoli. Van Basten scored crucial goals against Empoli at San Siro and against Maradona's team in a direct clash one at San Paolo, leading Milan to take the decisive step towards the championship. In the 1988-89 season, Milan returned to the European Cup after nine years. Van Basten scored 33 goals in various competitions, winning the Ballon d'Or in 1989. In the Champions League, he scored 10 goals. He also won the UEFA Super Cup and the Ballon d'Or for the second time. In Serie A, Van Basten scored 19 goals, earning the top scorer title and contributing to Milan's victory. He led Milan to the Champions League final, scoring decisive goals against Real Madrid, Mechelen, and Bayern Munich. Milan won the final against Benfica, with a goal by Rigid released by a pass from Van Basten. In the 1990-91 and 1991-92 seasons, Milan continued to triumph, winning the UEFA Super Cup and the Intercontinental Cup. Under the guidance of Fabio Capello, Van Basten won the top scorer title with 25 goals in the 1991-92 season. In November 1992, he was awarded his third Ballon d'Or. In June 1993, 
Van Basten underwent arthroscopy, confirming serious ankle problems. After various surgeries and recovery attempts, he announced his definitive retirement in 1995 at the age of 30. His last season was marked by 20 goals in 22 matches. With the Dutch national team, he scored 24 goals in 58 appearances, the first of which in 1983 against Iceland. He was a key player in the 1988 European Championship, scoring five goals, including three against England in the group stage. He also scored against the Soviets in the final, which they won 2-0. His goal was awarded by World Soccer as the second most beautiful goal in football history. His World Cup journey included participation in 1990 without scoring and absence in 1994 due to injuries. In May 2003, he began his coaching career with Jong Arjux before becoming the head coach of the Dutch national team in July 2004. Under his guidance, the Orange participated in the 2006 World Cup, where they were eliminated in the round of 16. Later, he secured qualification for the 2008 European Championship. After the Euro, Van Basten left the national team to coach Arjux. Then, in 2012, he joined Heerenveen, achieving mid to high positions in Eredivisie. In 2015, he returned to the technical staff of the Dutch national team as an assistant coach. Currently, Van Basten is an ambassador for UEFA football and a TV pundit. On a personal level, he was the European champion with the Netherlands in 1988, where he was also the top scorer. He won three Ballon d'Or awards in 1988, 1989, and 1992, was elected FIFA World Player in 1992, and ranks ninth in the special list of the best footballers of the 20th century published by World Soccer, and twelfth in the IFFHS ranking of the same name. In March 2004, Pele included him in the FIFA 100, the list of the 125 best living footballers, drawn up on the occasion of the FIFA centennial. He was the first of 10 players to score a quadruple in a single UEFA Champions League match, as well as the only one, along with Silvio Piola, to have scored at least one goal against every Serie A team he faced.